High School Football fans, it's Kyle Henderson of VenomPreps.com breaking down the Class 5A matchup. You got the Sandia Matadors taking on the 10-1 Las Cruces Bulldogs. Lately, Las Cruces has been a flat-out juggernaut posting over 1,400 all-purpose yards over the last two weeks. On the flip side, you have the Sandia Matadors. The Matadors, 10-3 on the season and in their first state championship since the 1977 season. Sandia's offensive line, vastly underrated, and that's opened up big holes for running backs Aaron Smith and Daniel Cones. Sandia, the underdog. In Class 4A, you got the Goddard Rockets, 11-0, taking on the Las Lunas Tigers at 12-0. What can Las Lunas expect? We all know what's coming. Cody French on a toss sweep, but can you stop him? French has over 1,500 yards this year and 20 touchdowns. Here's an extra clip of Goddard's offense. Just to break down how exactly tough Goddard is to stop. Right here, going to see Anthony Ornelas escape a couple defenders, then pick up a monster block right here from Josh Kiros before picking up the first down. The Goddard Rockets undefeated for a reason. You also have undefeated Las Lunas. Chris Wisninski, a dangerous passing quarterback. He has 1,300 yards this year, hooking up with Jalen Chavis right here as running back. But they're a run first team. They're going to go to the triple option against the Goddard Rockets. Chris Wisninski, one of the fastest, if not the fastest, quarterback in Class 4A. In Class 3, you got the St. Michael's Horsemen taking on the Silver Colts. A rematch of a couple weeks ago when Silver actually came out of the gates and took a 14 0 lead over the St. Michael's Horsemen. The Horsemen would rally back. Thanks to big efforts from quarterback Corey Serna and one of the best running backs in the state of New Mexico, Solomon Martinez. Right here, you're going to see Corey Serna scramble a little bit before hooking up with his running back, Solomon Martinez. Martinez makes one defender miss, hits the circle button, gets up the field, and St. Michael's and Silver would actually go into half tied 14-14. St. Michael's would make some great defensive adjustments, come out in the second half, and finish the game 28-21. It's going to be a very emotional game on Saturday. These two teams definitely want a shot at each other again. St. Michael's going for another state championship under head football coach Joey Fernandez. Santa Rosa and Tularosa getting it going at the Class 2A level. Santa Rosa going for three in a row. The single wing attack, very difficult to stop. They're scoring over 40 points a game. Tim Valverde has over 1,000 yards rushing. And then you also have one of the top players in New Mexico on offense and defense, Marcus Lopez. And when Marcus Lopez gets to the sideline, you're not going to stop him. He has over 28 touchdowns on the year. Santa Rosa is dangerous. And while we don't have highlights of the Tularosa Wildcats, Tularosa is unbeaten against Class 2A competition. And pictured in this clip right here is Jim Coleman, a Division I prospect with big-time play capability. My name is Kyle Henderson, and this is NMPreps.com. Catch Saturday's action all on NMPreps.com as well as Friday night. All the highlights, everything you need at NMPreps.com. Your one-stop shop for New Mexico high school football, stats, scores, everything you need since 2006. We got it right here on NMPreps.com. We're out. Have a good one. Be safe. Peace.